was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Now, how many of you know, I still do it at my house. Any of you hang stockings? Oh, good. I mean, in my house, what we do, everybody gets a stocking, just like this, and it's a long tradition. In the old days, my mother, who was 93 years old before she died, she told me Christmas morning, all she got for Christmas was what was in the stocking. And what she got was one orange and one shiny dime. That was Christmas. Now, the wild. So when out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. Think of it being chilly outside, snow on the ground. All of a sudden you hear bell ringing and there's strange sounds. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. She'd gone to sleep, you're half asleep. All of a sudden you hear bells ringing, you hear these strange sounds. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. It was bright outside. I mean, imagine it's a snowy day, and now it's nighttime. The moon is so bright, it makes it look like daytime. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. Where you're in bed, you hear these strange noises, you hear bells ringing, you hear all types of things, and all of a sudden you, you run, you run to the window as quick as you can to see what's going on. When, what to my wondering eye should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. So you ran to the window, it's snowing outside, there's a full moon, and all of a sudden you look out the window, there's a reindeer. And there's Rudolph and the other gang, and there's Santa Claus. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. And this book is a confusing one, but it's okay, because I can make it rhyme no matter what it says. When what do my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh? We did that like reindeer. <laughs> uh, and it goes, with the little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick, another name for Santa Claus. So it's cold outside, a full moon, you hear bells ringing, you hear sounds in the air. And there are reindeer pulling a sleigh with Santa Claus. More rapid than eagles, his coursers as they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now da Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. And Rudolph is in there too, okay. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with the obstacle, mount to the sky. So what happens, all of a sudden the sleigh's coming, being pulled by reindeers, the trees are swaying. It's like a helicopter almost landing. Snow's flying in the air, all these strange noises, and you see the sleigh, and you see sand, and you see the reindeer. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys. And St. Nicholas, too. So all of a sudden, on your roof, all of a sudden you hear, plunk, something is bumped. It's like all of a sudden there's some noise up there. And by golly, it's St. Nick. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little roof. So all of a sudden you hear, it's going right across the whole roof. Something's up there. And you know it's Santa, and it's a reindeer. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. He came down the chimney, had a nice red jacket on, his nice red hat, but the chimney's kind of dirty, isn't it? He had soot all over it. Parts of the chimney were all over him. So here's old Santa. He's landed on the roof. All of a sudden, he comes down the chimney, and by golly, he's in your living room. And you know what? All the good stuff starts happening now. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. He looked like a peddler just opening his back. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. 
So here's this kind of, he's a little overweight. He's got to get to the YMCA and work out a little bit. He has a red costume on. And on his back, he has a whole sack full of toys and goodies. And he's landed right at your house. It's Christmas Eve. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. So he's in your house. He's putting stuff underneath the tree, putting stuff all around the house, presents. The stump of his pipe, he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. So here he is. He lights a candle, probably turns on the lights nowadays. He's smoking a pipe. And he's down there putting toys around and having all types of good stuff. Obviously, we're not too happy he's smoking a pipe, but he's smoking a pipe. Remember, no smoking. Tobacco's bad for you. Santa, make sure you understand that. Yes. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. So he's down there, and you probably left him some milk and some cookies. He's taking a couple shots of milk, eating some of the cookies, kind of laughing and having a good time. And a wink of an eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. I mean, imagine, you see this, this nice old guy, he's putting presents out, he's delivering gifts, he's kind of laughing, he's in a good mood, he's just bringing all types of, think of all the things maybe he asked Santa for, and he's brought all those things to your house. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, and turned the jerk. And laying his finger on the side of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney, whoop! He rose. So he put out toys, he put out gifts, he put out snacks, and all of a sudden he just simply taps his nose and boop, it goes back up the chimney back on the roof. He sprang to his sleigh, and to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, here he drove out of sight, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to all, and to all a good, good night. night. So old Santa's done his job, He's taken off with his reindeer, and he's going to the next house. Again, oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Give yourselves a nice hand. Good. Yeah, let me tell you what.